Hey everyone, we're back with more incredible Nintendo eShop deals that you can pick up over the weekend here for your Nintendo Switch. Now this is a continuation of our coverage from last night, and once again we'll be sticking to games on sale for less than $10. If you missed our previous video, I will have it linked below. Thank you for being here, and with that, let's start with Moonshades. This is a single player dungeon crawler inspired by classics from the early days of home PCs. It features grid based movement and strategic active combat that mixes both melee and ranged attacks. You have a two party setup as you explore through with one character excelling in sword play while the other is a spellcaster. It definitely has that retro feel and the maps are loaded with secrets and hidden areas to find. At launch, the game offered 30 handcrafted dungeons that changed up a bit with each run, and since then they've added even more through free patches. Right now you can pick it up for just $539 marked down 70% with the deal ending on the 16th and you'll need about 400 megabytes for the install. Next we have Andro Dunos 2 which is a single player arcade shooter with a download around 650 megabytes and even though the main story is only about an hour long, it does offer plenty of replay value due to the arcade nature of the game. Now this is a follow up to a game that released in the early 90s and while I never did play the original, I enjoyed this for a bit when I picked it up. The music was a major highlight for me and the game hits all the marks for fans of the genre. Right now you can pick it up for just $5.99, mark down 70% and the deal ends again on the 16th. The Company Man is a fun single player action platformer that takes everyday normal business life and then puts a comedic twist on it. We play as a young man on his first day at a new job, and we have a co-worker that wants to make things miserable. The levels are split into different sections that you might find at the office. For example, you could find yourself in a frigid level where the AC was left on too cold, and so everything froze over. The combat and controls feel great and the boss battles are creative, plus the game is never too difficult, so almost anyone should be able to jump in and have some fun. Right now you can pick it up for just $5.99, mark down 70% and the deal ends on the 22nd. You'll need about 1 gig for the install. Primal Light is a retro inspired single player action platformer with a download around 280 megabytes and it gives players 10 different levels to work their way through. Each level has its own boss at the end as well and I mentioned that retro feel you can tell the devs love the Castlevania series plus the art design works great here on the console. The combat is pretty intense and it's a difficult game by default, but there is a slider if you feel it's just a bit too tough. On top of that, the sound design is top tier as well, and right now you can pick it up for just $5.99. With the deal ending on the 29th, I'd recommend it for anyone who's a fan of the genre. Road 96 Mile Zero is a single player adventure title with a download around 3.6 gigs, and this is a prequel to the previous title, Road 96. In this one we follow two main characters and your decisions throughout the game will ultimately determine where they end up. Now the original was a very heavy narrative driven game where your choices mattered as well, but Mile Zero adds in the new musical gameplay segments and they are a nice change of pace. However, if you're not jiving with them you can just turn it off and go through the story in the normal fashion. The game offers a few collectibles to find along the way as well and right now it's on sale for just $9.09, marked down 30% with the deal ending again on the 16th. Blossom Tales 2 is an incredible top-down Zelda-like adventure. It's a single-player outing just like the first, and this time gives the players an even more expansive world to explore. It has a download of around 325 megabytes and should last roughly 10 to 15 hours to wrap up. Now the way these games tell the story is always interesting, and once again we have fun dungeons, tight controls, and enjoyable combat. And for fans of the older Zelda games, you'll recognize many of the gadgets and items that you can find as well. I highly recommend this game and it's actually a steal at just $9.74, marked down 35% matching an all-time low, and the deal ends on the 23rd. After Dream is a single-player 2D puzzle-style adventure game. The story blends reality and fiction and lets you interact with different things you find. You do this with the help of your camera and you'll be searching for clues or items to help solve a puzzle or riddle for most of the game. The story really is the highlight here along with the great soundtrack and overall sound design that helps immerse the player into the world. Right now it's on sale for just $9.89, this is a brand new game and the deal ends on the 18th, you'll need a little over 400 megabytes for the install. The Artful Escape is a single player 2D narrative adventure title that offers players a unique gaming experience throughout the 4 hour runtime. The graphics are gorgeous and the soundtrack of course is the highlight. 
we play as Francis Vendetti, a skilled musician, and we find ourselves in the midst of an intergalactic journey in order to put together the biggest concert of all time. The story is engaging and mixes in just enough humor to not get overwhelming. It's pretty enjoyable all the way through, actually. The gameplay does get a bit repetitive by the end, but if you enjoy the genre, you can pick it up for just $9.99, mark down 50%, and the deal ends again on the 16th, you'll need about 3 gigs for the install. Eldoran is a single-player 2D action platformer with heavy RPG mechanics as well. It comes to us from Graffiti Games and it offers players an incredibly tough challenge, as many of even the most basic enemies can be deadly, and it will require a bit of grinding to level up and take on some of the tougher ones, even from the start. Now, you do have a wide variety of weapons that you can use and there's plenty of enemy variation and set changes to keep things feeling fresh, but again, I have to stress it's a pretty tough game. If you're up for it though, it's currently on sale for just $9.99, marked down to half price and the deal ends on the 1st, you'll need about 3 gigs for the install. Atora is a 2D adventure platformer for one player, it comes to us from Assemble Entertainment and offers a roughly 8-10 to 10 hour main story and follows our main character through a world in which we're the last remaining human and it's inhabited by strange creatures but to make things worse, there's a plague infecting everything that we have to put an end to. Now the combat and puzzles are both pretty simplistic, but overall the game is enjoyable both to play and look at, and would be great for newcomers or lesser experienced folks out there. Right now you can pick it up at half price for just $9.99, and the deal ends on the 25th, you'll need about 6 gigs for the install. Next we have Monster Boy in the Cursed Kingdom, which is one of the better indie platformers on the console in my opinion. It's been around for a while and gives the player a unique story with fully animated cutscenes and original music. The gameplay offers a ton of variety and that's mainly due to the way that you can shift into different animal forms, which will alter the gameplay mechanics and you'll use it for combat and exploration throughout the roughly 15 to 20 hour story. Now sadly it is a single player only game, but if that's what you're looking for and haven't played this one yet, make sure to check it out before the deal ends on the 25th, it's marked down 75% bringing it back to an all time low of just $9.99. Now again you will need almost 6 gigs for the install. Shotgun King The Final Checkmate takes a well-known game like chess and then puts a bit of a roguelike twist on it. You play as the king of the Black Army and your entire team has betrayed you, moving over to the other side. It's just you and your trusty shotgun left to take out everyone. Now each turn you can move or choose to attack the enemy and then you'll have to reload your shotgun afterwards and so strategy is key to success and the only goal other than surviving of course is to take out the other king. Now there are a few game modes for a bit of replay value, and of course it will likely pose a bit of a challenge, but if you're looking for an addictive game, make sure to check this one out before the deal ends on the 16th, it's marked down 20% to just $9.99. Alright everyone, here are a few other games to check out while you're already on the eShop. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. like you used to be. Suffering's coming will rupture reality. It'll be a long time before anyone comes looking for you. Think you can last? It's merciless out there.
that there's only one of us left, I thought it was time I heard the stories. All right, everyone, that wraps up today's video. Please leave a like if you had a good time or we helped you find any cool games to pick up. Feel free to jump into the combo down below. And of course, subscribe if this was your first time here. Thanks to the channel members and the patrons. And as always, stay safe, my friends.